y'all this gym is the real deal look at this place right here in the beautiful city of Hangzhou, China. Um, this is in the Binjiang district area of China, which is one of the more like upscale uh, areas. It also is quite pricey, it's quite pricey, but it has so many wonderful amenities. Um, and you can check the blog post, you can check the hotel review, the article that I wrote about this hotel in the description box below. And if you're watching this on my actual article, because I'm embedding the video there, but if you're watching this, then you can read through and see all the wonderful photos that I took. One of the things that I first noticed about the Meridian Hotel is the beautiful artwork displayed all around the facilities. I later found out that this hotel has a partnership with a nearby cultural arts center. After showing my green health code and finishing the check-in process, I was politely led to my room by Jimmy, who kind of showed me how things work in the room. Oh, oh, <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. This is, this is so good. This is, wow. Yes, uh, we have some coffee and uh, when there is a coffee machine and uh, when you need to coffee, you just uh, fall here and uh, when you choose, okay, and you just uh, right uh, Okay, yeah, okay, here. here. And uh, to your cup. <laughs> This year, okay. you're welcome. All right, and yeah. you said to turn on the AC. I just push air condition uh -huh. and uh, just uh, turn off. Okay, oh, yeah, okay, it's off and it's on. Okay, and yeah. this is up, down, and hot or cold. No, yeah, it's hot or cold. Yeah, this is so nice. Oh. Ah, yeah. Yeah. okay, mm. and then when you need to your, wash your room, wash your clothes. And uh, for here is our uh, clean and fresh Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. Very good. No problem. Thank you, Jimmy. Mm. This is great. You're welcome. Once Jimmy left the room, I kind of went around and got some more footage so that I could show you all. And these disinfectant slippers were so comfortable. And that's quite rare, especially for my size feet here in China. They don't even have my size shoes here. I would have to get them specially made. But this hotel had these slippers that fit very, very comfortably. And I basically wore them the entire time. I reserved a deluxe room King size bed, city view for $249 on booking.com. The winner for me, aside from how comfortable the bed was, was this beautiful deluxe spa bath. Bathtubs are kind of rare in China, like I mentioned before in many of my videos and my blog posts. Bathtubs are not something that we have in our homes. And so this going to a hotel and having one, like I specifically request rooms that have a, a spa bathtub so that way I can kind of relax and and enjoy but this shower also had great water pressure it was just an overall beautiful feeling after 
traveling for a few hours and just being so exhausted. In comparison to other hotel rooms that I've stayed in all across the world, not just China, I can honestly say that this room is extremely large in size compared to others. And this chair is so comfortable, I just melted in there. Unfortunately, I did not get the city view that I thought that I was going to get. I thought I was gonna have a much better view of the city, but this still worked. I was able to take advantage of the extended window seat and in the mornings while I was saying my affirmations and reading and praying, it wasn't too bad. So I still enjoyed it. On the first floor adjacent to the lobby, there was a tea exhibit. Hangzhou is very famous for its tea and tea farms. And so it was nice to read about the story of that. And then if you go up on the second level, this is where the ballroom is and all of the conference rooms. I didn't go into any of the rooms, but I did walk around just a little bit. And then I came to the gym. Y'all, y'all, y'all. This gym is the real deal. Look at this place. Do you see this? This gym is sick. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. All of the functional and family facilities are on the fifth floor. So that includes the gym, kids center, kids lounge, and this beautiful swimming pool. Now, one thing I will say about the swimming pool is that you are not allowed to go in if you do not have goggles or a swim cap. So that was an investment that I had to make, but it was well worth it because I didn't have it anyway. Y'all take a look at this view. Well, not me, but. <laughs> I mean, your girl was chilling, okay? After being in the pool and taking a shower, washing my hair and just relaxing, later that evening, I went up to the VIP or the executive lounge on the 17th floor. That is the highest floor. And I was able to enjoy, it's kind of like a tapas feel. So you have like some snacks, you have finger food, and actually you kind of have, you kind of have some really good dishes too that you could use in, in place of having a full dinner. So I enjoyed that. And even though it was raining outside, I still enjoyed the beautiful view. Now, in case you're in need of more food, you can always go down to the dining facilities on the third floor. There are two restaurants there. They are also family friendly, as you can see the little children running around. Yeah, there is scary people over here. Look at him. He, he's the one that checked me into the room. He's trying to stick with me the entire time, baby. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 
been so helpful, so helpful. Shit, yeah. shit. And this is it. We're checking out La Meridian. Beautiful day, beautiful stay. Awesome place, awesome people. We're right here in Hangzhou. Yeah.